Passover, the holiday we all love, and in it, possibly the most prevalent custom in all of Judaism, the Seder. Jews from all backgrounds and denominations get together with their friends and family. Everyone dressed so nicely, the china, the food, the wine, awesome. In each Seder, almost everyone has the same thought. For some it takes five minutes, for some 10, for some 20, but everyone is thinking it. What takes so long? I mean, I'm sitting here, and we said Kiddush, we washed our hands, and now we're going through the Haggadah, and I'm going through it, and there's 25 pages to go. I mean, it's been a half an hour. I'm starving. How long does it take to tell this story? Jews are slaves in Egypt, God shows up, poofs some really cool plague-type miracles, gets them out, and splits a sea. It's two pages tops. What takes so long? Let's shift gears. My grandparents are Holocaust survivors. They once told me how hurt they were, that people are actually denying that it happened. I said, who cares? I see the numbers on your arms, hear the stories about your family, see the tears in your eyes. I know it's real. They said, yeah, but will it be real for your grandchildren and their grandchildren? I said, you're right. What should I do? They thought and said, every year, make sure to observe the day that remembers the Holocaust. Do it with your children and grandchildren. Tell them that your grandparents were there. Tell them how you saw the numbers on their arms, tears in their eyes, heard the stories of their families. No one can make all that up. It's impossible. They were there. And then that grandchild is going to tell his grandchildren, my grandfather's grandparents were there. And he's going to tell his grandchildren and their grandchildren. It will go on from generation to generation, and then in 500 years from now, when people are denying that it happened, they'll say, no, it's my grandparents, grandparents, grandparents. They were there. It's been part of our family for years. Exodus is probably the most important event in the history of mankind because it introduced God to the world. When Moses first spoke to Pharaoh, he said, God said, let my people go. You know what Pharaoh said? Not no. He said, who are you talking about? God. God who? The God who created the whole world. Pharaoh pulled out a list of every God and said, I got all these gods here. I got the sun, the moon, I got the statues, I got the rocks, I got the guy fasting in the corner. I got plenty of gods. Guess what? Yours didn't make the list. He must not exist. 10 plagues later, and the Jews are leaving Egypt, and Pharaoh actually tells Moses, can you do me a favor and ask your God to bless me as well? Today, most of the world believes in one God. Exodus was when it started. Well, how do we know what happened? Because before the Jews even left Egypt, God commanded them to get together with their family and friends around the dining room table and talk about it, to have a Seder. And the kids sat around and said, I can't believe it. That was so awesome. Blood and frogs and plagues, that was so cool. And the next year, they said, can you believe the sea split? And years later, they said, can you believe my grandfather's grandfather was there when the sea split? And every generation afterwards, thousands of families tell over the exact same stories they heard from their ancestors. You can't make all that up. That's the power of the Seder. It's when we pass that torch, when we share the most important event in our history to our loved ones, when we take the story from our parents and pass it to our children with love. But it can't just be some story. We were slaves, God saved us, let's eat. It's an experience. We do things to get people to ask questions. Why is tonight different? We lean, we eat different foods, wine, matzah, mora. We try to relive the experience so that we never forget it. But it depends on us. When we walk into the Seder and say, this is dumb, then it is. But when we walk in knowing what it's all about, we turn that Haggadah into a springboard for reliving our history, recognizing God and sharing our values. It becomes an invaluable part of our year. Okay, but why can't we just eat beforehand? We all know that when we have something important, a big day, a big test, we just can't eat. When we sit at that dining room table for the first time all year and say, not yet with the food, we show ourselves and everyone around us that there's something really important happening. You guys gotta hear this. This is who we are. And you gotta pass this down to your kids and your grandkids. That's the Seder. It's when we tie our glorious past 
to our promising future. This year, make the Seder unforgettable. Happy Passover.